Hi there, welcome back to Fred Shaves. It's time for a Tuesday shave. I hope you are having a good start of the week. I want to uh, review a new soap today. I which was kindly sent from Yaki over in China. And this is the Musketeer Rapier, which is uh, soaps that are made for Yaki by, <coughs> by um, Master Soap Creations in South Africa. It's a really, it's really nice tubs, cool labeling with the sword there from the musketeers. It's a big tub of soap, six ounces or 170 grams. It's based this particular scent on the Aram, Aramis classic, uh, traditional perfume. This is a tallow based soap. You can see the ingredients there and pause that if you want. This, some of the sentinels are uh, grassy greens, cinnamon, uh, pelargonium and leather. And it's a really, I will call it a masculine scent. It's really, really nice. Razor will be my vintage gold plated Gillette super speed red tip with a 50 use Gillette Nasset. This is from 1955. Really, really nice in this gold refurbished from Razor Emporium. I have never used a soap from Master Soap Creation before. This is a new soap is for me. I have just heard good things about them. So we'll use my turn and shave brush custom made 26 millimeter quarter moon knot and I also have the matching splash here which will round off the shave. So we'll get the brush and load up. It's a quite a firm soap. So we'll see how this goes. <coughs> so how are things where you are? We are over in late summer here, it has been nice and warm the last days, temperatures in high 70s, so really nice, nice weather, sunny, we can see that the days are going a little bit shorter, the sun is setting earlier and earlier and now it's around 9pm in the evening and the sun has just went down, so it's starting to darken a little bit outside. It's a really nice period of the year as we are going into a nice, nice, uh, really nice uh, air, really fresh, light air, especially in the evenings and mornings. So that's good. Two days of growth. <laughs> of the access <clears throat> yeah I just heard good really good things in every reviews I've seen about the soapies from um, from um, Yaki or from uh, Master Shop Creations which is the ones that make the soaps for Yaki I don't know if the same soap base that's uh, under the brand name of uh, Master Shop Creations or if it's different bases. I don't know enough about that, so don't quote me on anything there. This is nice and pasty as we want it to start with. This is a really good knot. I have talked a lot about how good that is in many of my videos. It's using this brush quite a lot. Especially when trying out new soap bases, I will always go with this knot. Because it just works. And synthetic brushes, brush, blah, blah. synthetic brushes, it just seems to work. We are adding water mm. and it's taking it so 
it's probably a base that has a good tolerance of water and I really like that with a soap it's just turning back to white when painting that's a good sign thank you very much to Grace and the good people at Yaki for sending me stuff to review on the channel I really really appreciate it I'm not sure if yeah, I think I've seen this soap in reviews before. I think I saw a Kevin Shaves video using this soap, but uh, it's quite uh, some time ago, so I can't remember what he said about it. So this will be just my only my thoughts only, making it a fair review. So, how are things here where you are? Has the temperature started cooling down? Mm. New heat waves are attacking southern Europe, I think. It's been a hell of a summer down there. And we have been having a unusual cold summer, especially in July. It was really bad. Cool and rainy. And really unstable, a lot of winds. <clears throat> August has been a little bit better, but no heat to speak of. We've been in the 80s at the highest, I think. The soap is lathering really good, as you can probably see. Easy to work with. Mm. And it's creating a really nice and creamy lather. more water to it it's a little dry but we are really close for my liking this is really really creamy there are no bad artists in these days as I've said a hundred times at least I haven't come across anyone Hmm. That was a really big glug of soap all over the floor. That's okay. I clean up that mess after I'm finished. <coughs> so I had a physio appointment yesterday. Just a check up on a mushroom and that went well. So we're good to go. The hard coal I've been having first pass with the grain, the hard coal is starting to release. I had a run yesterday and for the first time in quite a while and it went quite good. So hopefully back in business with the running again. Gonna go for a new run either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, need to listen to the body and see. I have been losing quite a bit of weight in the last month, we are talking 11, 12, 11, yeah around 11 kilos I think, I don't know what that's in pounds, 
You can do the mat. And it also helps with the running. Soap is really slick. As expected. Soap mixed with water should give slickness. If it's not a really really bad soap. And this is really slick. Nice glide for the racer. And I feel my skin is really protected. So as far, I'm really impressed by the Yaki soap. I don't remember the price exactly, but I think it's around 17 euros. 17, 18 euros for one turbo soap, which is 6 ounces, and that's a really good deal. I will put links to Yaki at AliExpress in the description of the video. And you can go and have a look yourself if you want to. <laughs> That's first pass done. Second coating. Really nice sheen. Oh yeah, I can feel the leather is coming through now. I like those leathery scents, really like them. And this scent, it's a... I will not call it a dark scent, but I will say it's a scent that is really suitable for that time of year we are approaching now, which is late summer, early autumn. It's a great scent. I feel that the waters in the pipes are cooling down. A little bit as well. That could be my imagination. But it feels colder. Colder than in the middle of the summer. Having a little ingrown or pimple or something down there that I'm trying to avoid opening. <clears throat> Residual slickness is really nice. I have a good film with slickness on my face. And I could probably have shaved in that. If I wanted. But I always reapply the leather for my next pass. I mean, why not?
second coat, third coating, so it's a little bit on the drier side, a little bit drier than I really like, but we are going because it's really slick nonetheless. And there is not much whiskers left to take care of. And I'm not aiming BBS. Not going against the grain today. So it feels really good on the skin, no sign of any reaction or burning sensation or anything, which is good. Because I really enjoy the scent. I can feel this is gonna be a really good toe shave. Famous last word, but I said it nonetheless. <clears throat> that blade is holding up really nice, actually. And that's it. Fifth use, no issues. feel yeah it feels really good we're gonna rinse off Another one of those hard to rinse off soap, which also is a good sign of a quality slick soap. Okay, just remove some things here, making a little room around the basin. to be a really really good shave and it always feels so good with a shave when you skip the day of shaving like I did yesterday an initial post shave feel from just the soap is really nice skin feels good okay after shave splash Musketeer Rapier, same, same um, logo or uh, label as the soap. We have the ingredients there. It's a witch hazel based uh, aftershave, no alcohol. With witch hazel, rose water, glycerin, polysorbate, phenox theanol, essential oils and fragrance oils, 100 milliliters. So I'm gonna shake up that really good. So, cracking it open, have a little sniff, oh yeah, that good leathery scent come true, give it a good plug. A slow burn, not a burn. Like you get from the alcohol, so that's the witch hazel working with the skin. A really nice scent. Musketeer up here. For Yaki by Master Soap Creations. 
in the community there has been a lot of collaborations between different artisans and shaving stores and such the last couple of years and it seems like it's just getting more and more of it and I really like it. There is turning out some really good soaps and bases from those collaborations. That's what's left in the knot. Gonna wash out the brush. Like so. Let's see how we are doing after shave wise. Yeah. Whew. Really nice skin feel. I think I could uh, come away not using a balm, but we have brought a balm and we have done a balm in the shave all day pick from the thumbnail photo and from my Instagram, so we're gonna do it anyway. And my skin has although been on a little drier side the last two weeks, so we're gonna use some sterling and scented balm which is mentholated and which is soon empty this has been a favorite ah, come on should this be the day you are witness to some empty stuff on this channel it has happened before it will probably happen again, but obviously not today. I think it's a last bit uh, in here, so probably use it for one last time. Oh, I need to get my some more sterling that's for sure that has been i had this really a really long time i think i've been having this particular balm all since 2018 so they will last for quite some time especially if you are rotating bombs like i do i don't rotate very many bombs. i think i've got probably maybe four or five unscented um, scented favorites that I'm keeping in the den and rotating between. But that was me done and lost it. We're gonna do a quick recap of the shave. Razor was my Gillette red tip paired up with a 50 use Gillette Nasset. Brush was my custom made turn and shave brush with a 26mm synthetic quadrant knot. But the shave was mainly about this soap, kind of sent for you by Yaki, the Musketeer Rapier, made for Yaki by. <coughs> Excuse me. Made for Yaki by Master Shop Creations. It's a dupe or. dupe or um, based on uh, Armani's classic uh, perfume. It's a really great scent, leathery. Masculine, really nice. Uh, and as you saw, the soap worked really well and it lathered up really good. And um, it felt really slick and took care of my skin during the shave, so I have no complaints at all. I'm gonna uh, continue in using this. Really liked it. So thank you for sending it. Thank you for all of you watching. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel and until my next video. Goodbye.